Welcome back. Edwin Bartlett's Connecticut Out and About is the ultimate guide to what's happening in Connecticut. The website is a go-to source for everything from arts and entertainment to restaurants and fun things to do for the whole family, of course. And Ed joins us now with some new things to add to the list for 2012. Welcome. Thanks for getting up so early and joining Good us. Good morning, Kent. Yeah, early on Saturdays is typically not my game. But <laughs> we do what we got to do. Because you're usually out and about on Friday night. Absolutely. All right, first, first weekend of the new year here, and we're talking about this because this is a, a great guide for people to, to go out. Tell us what they're going to find on the website? Well, what you're going to find is uh, the, the, the primary thing is the actual events calendar. And what we've done is we've added a new little plug-in that allows you to check by what you want to do. Music, arts, uh, charity events, the whole nine yards. And there's a, a drop down, you click on that, and it will sort by that type of event. Uh, typically, if I have 1,500 events on the calendar, which I will come, you know, springtime because yep. we get real active, it can be cumbersome finding something for the next week. So you just click on this, whatever you want to do, you find it. It just lists everything out, and it will be everything across the state. Terrific. Sounds very uh, easy to negotiate. And if I were to click on, say, really worthy causes, I'd probably find this kid we're about to talk about. Absolutely. Kyle Bastos. Tell me, tell me okay. about him. Uh, Kyle Basso is a 16-year-old from Wolcott. Uh, loves to skateboard, budding film producer, and unfortunately he's been diagnosed with leukemia. Um, that in itself is devastating, but the fact that both his parents are unemployed, it's a sign of the times. It's, it's something that you don't ever want to deal with, but especially in this situation. So uh, a lot of friends of mine that, that I know of, uh, New Day Entertainment, they're putting together a fundraiser for Kyle at the uh, Green Line Cafe in Walcott. Okay. Uh, it's going to be headlined by Crossing Rubicon and Redline, which are two amazing bands. There's three other bands on the uh, line as well. Food, raffles, everything you would see in a fundraiser. It's a great cause. And if you can't make it there, there is information on the Facebook page, which will also be posted on my site, on how you can send a donation. We really need to help each other out in times like this. And we should tell people the event's uh, Sunday, January 22nd. That is correct. at the Green mm -hmm. Line Cafe. Excellent. Um, don't even have to go there. You can still help out and be a part of that mm -hmm. good cause. Now, another thing we're going to talk about, Guilford's Park and Rec, a fun event. It's January 29th, that's Sunday. Chili cook-off, Chili right? cook-off, yeah. Guilford Park and Rec, like every other park and rec, is such a great thing for each community. Community. And you always think Park and Rec, you think outdoor spring, summer, but they have so many great programs going on during the winter. And this is just an example of chili cook off. I mean, everyone thinks they have the best chili. So, everyone in Guilford, <laughs> let's see who's got it. I'll be judging it. I'll be joined uh, by Pam Landry and Big John Seville and many members of the Guilford Volunteer Fire Department because they do make great chili. Also, there will be some of my great friends, Cross Eyed Cat. So, Spicy hot chili. That's a smoking, band in case yep, you were wondering. Yep, cross eyed cat. Cross eyed cat. Smoking hot chili and cool blues. I mean, that's as good a combination. And that floor is great for dancing, so bring your shoes. Ah, okay. Now, uh, you're doing a couple of things to help people who might want to get involved in the kind of world you live in on the, on the internet, on social media, things like that. Yeah, welcome to my world on January 23rd and at January 30th. And this is at the Guilford uh, Public Li Library. It's free to all members. Uh, I'll be joining uh, with the Bradford Chamber of Commerce to do what we call Internet 101. Uh, a lot of people have so many questions. I mean, Facebook, Twitter, Foursquare, G+, they've all been out there, but everyone's still intimidated by them. They don't know how to use them, so we're going to teach them that. We're going to teach people how the Internet works, how search engine optimization works. And then we're also going to get people together, and we're actually going to do what I call the cyber network. And that is getting people, you know, if you network during the day, if you want to get your word out, the best way is working together with everyone. Mm -hmm. As my developer, Gary from the Kanaga websites would always tell me, all ships rise with the tide on the internet, and it's absolutely true. All right. Absolutely true. All right, and if you want to learn how to ride that tide, go to one of those seminars. We've got more information. I want to thank Ed Bartlett with Connecticut Out and About for coming in here, and if you want more information, you can log on to our website, WTNH.com. You can click on the Good Morning Connecticut Weekend section for more information.